but he is doing a very excellent job in supporting S1. Maybe gonna go down. Earthshaker coming for the rescue. He's gonna stun anything? Stuns Fisher. Oh, Echo Slam. Excellent. I'm taking down Melk. Uh, Chen goes down, so there's gonna be no additional heal, but he already used uh, Hand of God. Puck gonna come in. Gonna warp in? No, he's not gonna warp in. Shaker does have uh, enough mana for Fisher. He will not in soon, as the Mineral War is draining his mana fast. Now he does not have enough mana. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not sure. Urshaker's, um Fisher was 135 level 1, but level level 4, it might take uh, a couple more than that. Maybe 165. But Swan going to go down again. Uh, very good job by Angel. The Furion is able to go anywhere on the map and gank success, uh, successfully. Uh, gonna go and come back and take down Roshan. Nether Ward to train Roshan. Oh, it, yeah, it does affect Roshan. No, no, it does not affect Roshan at all. But it does hurt Roshan though. Oh, now they they, they sent they know they're here because the Nether Ward just shocked Earthshaker. Puck not getting stunned. And Frozen is he gonna go down? I think there's one more stun coming in. They're not gonna chase. Uh, Warlock here as well. I think the Ring of Chaos is still on. Uh, is still on uh, cooldown. Oh, Puck misses her ult. Uh, misses his ulti. That's very bad. Warlock is gonna go down, most likely. Everyone comes in for the rescue. Probably not gonna help that much. Nope. Top is getting pushed by itself. Um. Roshan is probably going to go to uh, Michu Makers. And Naga will take the uh, Aegis. Now the push will start. I assume uh, they used, uh, Scourge has used their Glyphon of Fortification again. They won't be using it again for another 6 minutes. Major push coming in. Everyone on, uh, on Sano is, is here. Earthshaker's ult is probably still on cooldown. Having the blink dagger now, but having ult, having his ult on cooldown, not gonna do much. Naga may be getting off, getting to use her ultimate here just to take down the tower and Rax. Is he gonna do it? Tower's gonna go down. Now Rax. Yes, he does sleep. Oh, he's gonna go away. He's not pushing on the Rax. Why? Oh my god. Uh. Black hole, but instantly getting stopped. <laughs> Didn't see what ha what happened that much over there. Naka used her ultimate, but Mishu Maker just pulled back when when they were all uh, slapped. Uh, Pugna goes down, but now they're going back afterwards. Why? Malk is most likely gonna go down as well. Yeah, totally getting surrounded. A stung on there. Do we have a Fisher? Yes, we have a Fisher coming in. Malk is gonna go down. Uh, a purge coming in from uh, purge on mania. Furion still trying to do some pushes by himself, just teleporting everywhere on the map, pushing all three lanes at the same time. So man is level eleven, so they will be. They have um, a fairly high hero level now to able to stop this kind of summon pushes. But then again, uh, Mission Maker is very, um, very skilled in terms of uh, Dota overall, so they might be able to pull this off. So then just using uh, Stormbolt and Nuta Creep and get some additional kills to farm faster. Getting all those last hits, excellent. Urshaker level 10, need to get level 11 fast before the second, another push comes in and able to stop it with level 2 Echo Slam. Pusher having ward on the map, seeing uh, where uh, the Scourge players are. We're now Sylvan having 51 last hit. So he is farming fairly good, yes. Uh, he doesn't have that much items as I would expect him to, though. Um, No, oh, Puck has a Blink Dagger as well. 
that's not really um usual on Puck because well he does have the escape already on the illusionary warp but just getting a dagger anyways a radiance on the scourge team would be nice but they don't have no they don't have any uh carriers for such an item the timer is running out so I assume this will be the final battle a big push is going to come in for Mitchell Makers and they succeed they'll win if they don't they'll probably lose because Scourge already have the proper levels to stop pushes and the uh, Earthshaker so the conclusion is about to draw near oh my god I can't, I can't wait to see this Fury on, doing some more uh, Wrath of Nature coming in taking out those racks getting hit uh, Pugna does have the nuke that damages buildings. Using the, all the skills on the creep to slow down the Scourge heroes as fast as uh, for as long as they can. Naga Siren is here. Gonna use ultimate. Yes. Gonna take down his racks. Now that's what, that's what I was talking about. Rack goes down. Sandal's gonna pull back. And Scourge can't do anything about it. They just need to do this for the other two lanes and it's gonna be a good game. Oh, uh, Swan using Warcry. Not able to get a stun. Yes, get a, gets a stun off. Furion is gonna go down. Maybe not. Oh, getting awfully damaged there. Ventral goes down. Swan has 15 charge on Majesty, but couldn't, won't save him anyway. He's gonna go down. And yeah, this is gonna be GG. The, maybe Earthshaker has an ultimate to maybe stop for for a while longer but this this game is not long anymore three players on Scourge are down and this game is just heading to its finish right now and I'll see you and Michu Maker is the winner just seeing just waiting for the GG coming in from the Scourge player gonna push the top tower yeah top rack goes down bottom racks this tower still there but not gonna not gonna help that much. Scourge trying to do some fight just to uh for the heck of it. Oh, Snagasar and dodges. Uh. Oh, I see illusions are unaffected by the black hole. That's definitely that's interesting. Oh, cause I remember now, cause they changed black hole to only affect enemy heroes. The so illusions are not affected. That's that's that is interesting. Naga Siren is gonna go down. No, oh, Naga does go down, but has ages. Gonna respawn. Yeah, the top rack goes down as well. Only two racks left. And then it's gonna be Mega Creep and good game. Scourge is gonna do some last time. Oh, they're asking. Wolverine's asking, saying one more time. Maybe asking for a remake from his maker. From Michu Makers. GG coming from Scourge. MM is gonna win officially. Officially now, uh, some heroes on the scourge trying, still trying to do some last minute. You know, to give up now. So yeah, Mania having the top score. As a carry, as a carry, I would say for the for the team of Michu Makers. So yeah, that was definitely a good game. Uh, Michu Maker definitely had a very uh, interesting lineup. Not the most usual one you will see, but very uh, powerful as. It can gank and push and able to finish the game in just 27 minutes. So yeah, definitely a very good game.